Hi everyone, welcome back to the ninth house with Prash Trivedi. Today we are going to be going into the truth and the core of what the ninth house is really about. Now in the West, we are taught that the ninth house of course is the house of Sagittarius. It rules law, it rules the father, it rules spirituality and philosophy. Also long distance travels. So please illuminate us, Prashant, with the ninth house. Right, Julie. Like so. So the thing uh, about the ninth house is that again, like all the other houses, is that we start from the house before, right? So, like we were in the eighth house last time, and um, in eighth house we learned that everything ends. Okay, we were learning that everything ends. It could, yeah, like out there ends. So, when everything ends out there, then like you're not gonna take when you leave this body, you're not gonna take your house or money or any of these things. You know, everything's gonna stay here. So then what is actually important? You know, the eighth house, you go and dis discover in deep to find out. You dive deep to find out what actually is important. Okay. And that's when the ninth house comes. Because you, then you have to know what is important. And for that, you need someone to guide you. So that's why it's the guru. It's the house of the guru. Ninth house is family, the house of guru, some being which can actually tell you what is important. Because you have learned by yourself that this is not important, this is not important, that's not important, this is not important. Okay. So what actions are actually important? What are you supposed to do in a human birth? What is the meaning of human life? You know, like all these questions are 8,000 questions actually. Okay. But the answer <laughs> comes in nine. So, because that's where you understand that, okay, these things I can't totally figure out by myself. Okay, I'm going to need some <laughs> help here, like Jim said. You realize that. So, that wisdom dawns upon you, you know. So, once you go down the rabbit hole of it, like, you know, like some people, once they go down on the rabbit hole of it, they might not come out at all, like, you know, because it's so much there, like, that you go, like, lose your mind if, uh, especially if the first two seven houses are not working fine. I said, like, if the discipline is not happening in the previous houses. And I already said that an eighth house can be dangerous in that way. But if you other houses are working and you use eighth house properly, you will come out into the night with the understanding that uh, you have to learn what is important. Okay. So then spirituality, guru, meditation, all of those things will follow automatically. You know, because you are getting into this the whole zone of what has to be done on this plane as a human being. So, yeah. That's wonderful. And yeah. um, like just doing a practical example, what would like a moon in Virgo in the ninth look like in Uttara Falguni? Um, see, like nine thousand, um, anything is uh, like, uh, any planet that is there, you know, is will tell you like what kind of uh, like a guru principle you'll be attracted towards, or, or like Jim saying, or that kind of thing. That's that's all. Like, so like if moon is there, then it will be more lunar. If sun is there, it's more solar. Mm -hmm. Mars is there, it's more Martian. Okay, like what appeals to you in that way, you know, or sometimes what will actually come different times, you know. Okay. What, what will actually uh, happen for you and in which type of energy you respond to in that way but like Jen said so so that that is the thing but another thing with nine thousand is that you know where, with the whole guru principle is that uh, uh, once uh, you are ready to have that wisdom that you will have to listen and apply and learn basically listen learn and apply you, you know, you, you're humble enough for that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Then uh, how that humility comes also. Do you know what I'm saying? And how that humility manifests can be by the sign of the 9,000, the oh. graha, which is, uh, which is in there, you know. So yeah. so 9,000 so 9, can also do that, you know. So, so that's, a, that's an important thing about the, uh, that it's the guru principle 
which is the most important part of the ninth house you know because because for example in eighth house you will all, also go into you know you'll come to know that uh, when you actually do the research eighth house is research right so you'll research and then oh this is not the only plane of existence earth there are other planes of existence you'll come to know about there are planes of existence above there are planes of existence below these are hidden things right hidden knowledge okay but you have learned all of that in eighth house okay you have learned that there is more to things than meets the eye right you have learned all of that now now comes the question okay now what like how do i get to the higher plane then now you know there are higher planes and this is the plane this is not the only plane of existence then you have to find out how do i get there okay for that you need a road map you need a guide mm -hmm. which is again guru mm -hmm. you come to ninth house in ninth house you will learn how to get there what to do the application jim said and like once uh, that group principle is there and you have to have a more a reference to it you have to be receptive to it you know mm -hmm. because if you're not receptive you know i'm saying and if you're not uh, humble and if you're not uh, grateful and it, like if you don't have this right kind of uh, attitude mm -hmm. you know which is a great attitude gratitude like okay if you don't have the right attitude towards the group principle you can never learn and apply mm -hmm. okay so you can never reach your goal so whatever you have found out from 8th house you can't take it forward basically unless you like follow the guidelines of the 9th okay so is that yeah. what the 9th really is about because you know how they say in how yeah. it is the law so is yeah. the law just the guidelines the guidelines the law is the law of the multiversal law okay okay so the multiversal law is in the ninth house so yes obviously okay yes. so 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 is so is, that's the law we are talking about here okay but obviously that's going not going no that's not going to be taught to you in any school out there <laughs> there's no law law school on that which <laughs> <laughs> okay right so that has to be taught by a being which knows and actually has experience and knows those things and have experienced them in person in this lifetime another lifetime so whatever their experience have been in this multiverse as a whole you know so then accordingly that that, that being can guide you like and tell you what but and then how you have to behave with that being and how you have to deal with that being you know who is telling you and teaching you and things like that because there are protocols and laws for that too you know mm -hmm. so all of that comes under nine house all of that is that the misconception with the dad because the dad was they were trying to say was the guide but because that's faulty it, it truly is the guru because you know yeah because earlier yeah what happens was that when you were small okay and early like in the that thing in the uh even the parents father at the time would have some knowledge mm. okay about what to do and what not to do and things like that you know which might not be the case now <laughs> you know in this times but at the time everybody had to have some bits basic education in these matters spiritual matters so quote and quote yeah. spiritual matters okay so uh, the father would also could also play that role depending on whatever level he knows up till but then whenever you reach the limit of that then you will have to take some other guru or something which is knows beyond that you know so so ninth that's why it is like that that is a beginning thing you know father you already born with that that person is already there which which want to obviously guide you a little bit in whatever capacity they can right right so and then comes the next thing which knows better you know saying so you no know, all beings might not be happy just with their father or whatever their father knows or the level they know at that is not might not be enough for all of beings right so so then they have to move one step forward to the guru like actual some being which knows much more and can guide them much more and they might have more ambition as to what level they want to achieve in this lifetime you know so that's so all of this this whole thing comes in the 9000 so and what is the correlation with the long distance travel right okay we were in the third now we'll come to the third and ninth axis okay third was what short journeys mm -hmm. courage mm -hmm. short journeys short journeys yes. 
yeah you just went out from your house up to the market and you brought something and you brought it back and you remember <laughs> you came back home mm -hmm. like you, you know every time you go vendor of the house 4000 went for a little that thing and then you came back that's all third house right mm -hmm. people can go back to the third house one and then they will remember that okay so opposite of that opposite of sh short journeys is long journey long journeys yeah yeah okay long journeys is like it basically means that you know, once you are going for the guru and that thing, there's any length you're ready to go for that. There is nothing, there's no limit to it. If you have to go around the whole earth for that, you will do so. Wow. Yeah, that so makes that's, sense. That's, that's the whole point. It's, so it's not a short thing. Like short journey is like, okay, you just go up to the local market, buy some vegetable and <laughs> okay. yeah. that's third house. Okay. Okay, and that thing and stuff like so, so nine thousand is like you're ready to do much more. Yeah, you know? symbolic yeah. of like the spiritual journey, the spiritual path. It's not a quick three month thing. It's a it's a lifetime journey. It's a lifetime. On top of that, like in a physical way, also like you know, like when the knights used to go on a whole journey and stuff to find something, like you know, like you're really looking, seeking something. Mm -hmm. So for some time that for that you might have to travel far. Yeah. To even seek the guru, you might have to travel far. It might not be just in your vicinity. Mm -hmm. You know, like just like the vegetable person or that thing or grocery store is in your vicinity. You know, but the guru is not necessarily in your vicinity. Okay. That you, you will find something within the two mile radius or yes. 10 mile radius or 20 mile radius, everything. You know, you, you have to go further than that. Physically, like, you know, so, and you're ready to do that. That's nine thousand, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like if they, is that, is that spirit that like, if I have to walk to the ends of the earth, I will like, whatever. If I have to go to the, whatever to find what is required. So it's that kind of house. It, and it has to have that kind of spirit and that kind of energy about it to actually do the things. You know, if you don't have that kind of spirit, you can't really apply the nine thousand. Mm -hmm. Actually. Yeah, it's like, would it be accurate to say that you need that courage from the third house to yes. bring to the ninth too? Yes, yes, yes. So, I mean, so again, they're complementing, right? Mm -hmm. We said, like, instead of opposing, like, which we have said in houses before, like, they're complementing. Okay, third house courage is useful in the ninth house. Yes. Yeah. But you have to look more in, like that thing than that. Like, you, you can't look in a short span around you and third house span like here you have, you have to be wider open that it might not be in your country even it might not be in your culture even the guru or that thing jim mm -hmm. you have to be able to go past all of that you know your neighborhood <laughs> yes you know yes and you know like it's like a frog in a pond sort of situation you're in one frog in a one pond and then you might have to come out of that pond or like that well frog in a well and comes out of the well and then sees there's a whole way to big world out there. It's not just that. That opening up of the consciousness in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? We don't not just a frog trapped in the well. That's a nine thousand. Okay. So so expanding that thing, you know, like so and here like a, it, it is a whole spirit like that. There's nothing which you won't do for that, you know. Because eight thousand you've already dealt deep. Now you are very, very that thing, you know, like you are like, okay, I have to get this, you know, like you're already in that way. So that's when 9,000, because it takes over from the 8,000 research and all of that, you know, which makes you like, uh, like if you've done the 8,000 things already, that means you're already serious about something, like right? it shows some seriousness that you've done that research and all of that. So in ninth, you take it further. Like it brings purpose and spiritual essence to all that eighth house digging and yeah. searching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. Yeah. Like now you were saying, like, okay, I've done that and now I've come to know these things. And now I know that I'll have to find that I'll I'll have to find the right thing to follow and right thing to do, right thing to follow, right thing to do. The all this right, right, right is ninth. Mm -hmm. You know. Jim saying so and for that like there is nothing which uh, you won't do like that that's the spirit of the ninth house you know? yes 
And yeah. uh, I just wanted to share with the viewers because uh, yeah. that are into chart analysis. So I live in America and PT lives in the UK and I have my moon in the ninth house and it's in Uttara Falguni and PT's yes. moon is also in Uttara Falguni. So yes. when I see this in my chart, it, it literally shows the relationship with my spiritual teacher being in a yes. foreign place, long distance, it even yes. the energy of your own moon. So it's yes. like, yes. It's, yes. it's so yeah. precise in the chart, at least in yes. my yeah, I mean, uh, sometimes things can be seen in the, for what people should understand is that things are not always in the main chart, the front chart. They can be in the charts below and things like that. So astrology is a deep science, so they, they can be hidden in, in ranges much below. Uh, but I was just trying to, uh, yeah, like this is 9,000 is that like, like it, it might be something which is outside of your, like, you know, country, of your scope, of uh, what you come from, the viewpoint, completely different. Uh, viewpoint and things like that you know mm -hmm. it's, it's truly foreign like the word foreign is applied like the word foreign in english means foreign things you know foreign language foreign uh, cultures foreign foreign things right which is which is ninth house right mm -hmm. so which is why is it because you you have to open up your mind mm -hmm. so beyond the neighborhood and what you're born into or what you've learned or you know what you've grown up in and you have to really rise above that in this house you know yes. so, so so that's the thing about this house you know yes and so. one last thing i mean it's just something that i'm thinking of is you were talking about applying the like the aspect of the planet in relation so for example like my moon it's a very lunar energy but utara falguni if i'm not mistaken it's a solar. By the it's solar. Sun, right so yeah. immediately when i think of that i think of a balance you know the it's male, a balance, yeah. female principle with the centering and the meditation yeah that's when the nakshatra comes in you know because nakshatra is one level below the sign yeah, yeah. but the nakshatra says padas and then there are more levels and levels but yeah but in that two levels it's balancing yeah and so i see that seconds. and that's yeah. your like your main teaching you know the centering yeah. balance. So ba balance yeah balance yes. yeah yeah so for cent centering and all of that so yes so th th that's that's that that's the thing so um ninth house is actually like obviously like taking you away and away from the things like for example you are like in a local area and you've been born into something and that thing you know like the frog in the well and you have this thing and then you go past that you know expanding on earth taking in different foreign cultures and foreign things and foreign stuff and then uh, you can at some point go past the earth whole earth thing itself mm. you know you can widen it beyond any earth like because another plane right now like whether it's planes above earth or planes below earth they are very foreign to earth people right they don't know anything about them and even if they go there they will not know anything you know what are they about what are they like so that's real foreign stuff right yeah you know so which is beyond even earth so once you start doing like that that's the next step of nine thousand, which takes you beyond earth plane beyond cycle of birth and death as a human being here so wow that's, that's yeah. so profound yeah wow. so, but you you start somewhere like you know you take steps but you're growing 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 like that and then finally out of here completely you know so and to prepare for that because if you have to go into a higher plane of existence or anything now that is a foreign place for you which you don't know the laws of mm. but you out here learn the laws you prepare for that and then you will be granted entry there because you are ready for it. Wow. Because on the earth time by time you had here, you prepared for it. You know, you learned what it is about. You learned what they're about. So, so that's another foreign travel. That's a bigger foreign travel. Right? Ooh, yes. yes. Yeah. So yeah. The ninth house yeah. is preparation to yeah. the yeah. other kinds as well. Yeah. Transcend. Transcendence. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so first, first you're transcending your own local area, neighborhood. Mm. Then you're transcending that thing, and then you're transcending whole earth, that thing. So it goes on that levels. So that's the ninth house. It really so, shows how important this house is. It's vital. Yeah, yeah. It's obviously it's, it's very it's one of the core one five nine axes, which I call the first fifth ninth. Mm. Self, your body, and then your intelligence fifth and ninth is this so this triangle has to connect you know 
yes. fascinating. Body, mind, spirit, you know, so. Mm. So that's an important triangle here. And, and third house courage. You can use the ninth house, whatever courage you're getting from the third house. Because ninth house will require courage to step out. Because stepping out into the unknown is the biggest. And eighth house is also giving that courage because you've already dug deep in eighth house. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've had some blue pill, red pill moments all the time in the eighth house. You know, <laughs> yes. so, so, so then you take that over to the ninth house. You know, so 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 that's that's an important bit. Okay, so th I think that's there's a final good note for nine thousand. This transcendence and you know expanding, expanding, expanding consciousness. You know, so that you actually are able to get a cycle of birth and death and take your spirit out to higher planes of existence. You know, that's the goal. In nine thousand, you set the goal. For that you know like what actions and like meaning of life everything human life what am i supposed to do here what am i born for which people have questions like that all the time mm -hmm. you know but all these questions have answers in the ninth house after the eighth house you know mm -hmm. learning everything is transitory here everything ends everything is you know which you learned in the eighth house already so that's yes Wonderful. I well, was so grateful for you sharing this knowledge with all. And yes. I'll see you all next month for the 10th house.